Hi YouTube family, a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. I hope you had a wonderful day today. I will be sharing a recipe for stew red snapper or red snapper stew. It is a hearty dish that I often enjoy and I want to share how I prepare it with you all. So sit back, relax and let's cook this stew red snapper together. So first of all, we're gonna start with seasoning the fish. I'm gonna go in with salt on both sides and black pepper. During the week heading on to Easter, we normally make a lot of fish dishes or vegetarian dishes. That's our normal menu for that holy week of Easter. So in the next couple of days, vegetarian meals and fish meals will be popular in my kitchen this week. Next, we're gonna add our green seasoning. And my green seasoning is contained of garlic, pepper, green onion, fine thyme, broad thyme, cilantro, and some hot pepper. We're gonna go in about three tablespoon and I will go in with my hands and just mix it up together so we can marinate this fish properly. I'm gonna go in on the inside as well so the fish can have flavors all this around. Good. Yeah, this is the seasoning, right? Yeah. I am very happy that I bought this box of red snapper because you can do so much with it. The only thing with red snapper, it's a smaller fish and it have a little bit more bone than the gray snapper. So I have my flour here to dust the fish before I start frying it. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of roasted garlic and pepper seasoning. I like to add a little bit of seasoning into the flour before I fry the fish. It adds a little bit more of flavor in there, just about a half of a teaspoon. And we're just gonna mix it up like that. We're gonna go in for a piece of the fish. We're lightly gonna dust it. So the next move now, you're gonna Make sure that you shake out the excess flour and then we're gonna head over to the pan and fry these babies up. So now I'm adding the fish into the pan after lightly dusting them. I'm gonna fry three pieces at a time and give it enough room to cook properly. So my brother-in-law taught me to fry the potato a little bit before I add them to the stew, just brown them up on all sides because when you add it to your stew that way, it gives a beautiful, nice flavor. Now that I've finished frying the fish, I'm gonna be chopping up some fresh ingredients for the stew. And I have beautiful colors here and freshness. I have some green onions, purple onions, white onion can work as well. Fine thyme, some cherry tomatoes. You can use the baked tomatoes or any tomato of your choice. I'm using some cilantro. It goes very nice in stew. I have a Jamaican hot pepper. I'm gonna be using about quarter or half. I have here some broad leaf thyme and I have some garlic. I'll chop these up and we will be putting this stew red snapper together soon. So my seasoning is all chopped up and I just finished frying the fish and the potatoes. We're gonna head on to the stove now and we will put this thing together. So first of all, with a little bit of oil, I added my onions and I'm gonna cook it up for a few minutes. So this pan is looking very beautiful and vibrant. I just added my hot pepper, broad thyme and garlic. Now 
Now I'm going to add my tomato paste and I'm going to go in with about three heaping tablespoons because this is going to give me the right color, flavor and a nice thick sauce at the end. I'm going to go in here and I'll mix it up together so I can cook out some of the rawness from the tomato paste. I'm gonna go in now and add my fine thyme. Fine thyme will enhance our stew. If some stems happen to drop in there, that's fine. They have a lot of flavor, you can always fish them out. It wouldn't do any harm to you. So we're gonna mix this. And I have some water warming up in the back. I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of water. We want to add warm water so we're not slowing down the cooking process. And I'm going to mix that. I'm going to mix all these ingredients in. See how beautiful the color is? We're yeah. going to go in right now and we're going to add some salt and black pepper. You can always taste and add more salt later. I'm going in with my black pepper now. I didn't make stew fish for a very long time. And I'm in the mood for it today. Let me know when was the last time you had a good stew fish. I like to add a little bit of all spice in my fish stew or stew fish. So I'm just going in just about half a teaspoon. I'm gonna add my green onions. We're gonna go in with some thinly sliced carrots because this is gonna add some sweetness to our stew along with the cherry tomatoes. I didn't put them in yet because I don't want them to melt away in our stew. The sauce is looking very, very nice. So the next step here is for me to add my potatoes and they're pre-cooked so it won't take a long time at this point our stew is almost done because the fish is already cooked the sauce we already created the sauce and our potatoes are halfway cooked as well so we're gonna go in with the fish gently gently add them one by one and these fish is gonna suck up that nice juice from the stew. Ooh la la. And you guys know this is gonna be a good one. So let me keep adding. So I'm gonna go in and garnish it up with my cilantro. And we will add some of the tomatoes nicely sliced. And we're going to just leave it on low heat to simmer for a few minutes until all that ingredients well combined together. You can see this is an amazing, delicious fish stew. So to go with our fish stew tonight, I'm going to be making a quick cornbread recipe. And I want to share it with you all. I already have it on my channel. But I'm gonna share it again for all my new viewers. So it takes just a few ingredients. I break one egg and I got a double yolk. Look at that, Nali. That's cool. So you only need one egg. I'll leave the link to my cornbread recipe in the description box below. I have here some milk, white sugar, baking soda, some all-purpose flour, corn meal, and I have some peaches and cream corn. So let's put this cornbread together. So I have all my dried ingredients in this bowl here. I'm gonna give it a little mix to combine the dried stuff together. And 
and then now we're gonna slowly go in with our wet ingredients i'm gonna start with the egg i'm gonna whisk this up before i add it to the mixture i'm gonna go in with my melted butter i'm gonna go in there with my milk and i'm gonna go in with the egg So we're gonna mix our cornbread mixture now and then we'll go in with our corn so with a little bit of butter I'm just gonna brush my baking dish and this is what we're gonna use to cook the cornbread you want to make sure that you cover all ends or else it's gonna stick to the bottom and then now I'm gonna add my mixture I'm a big fan of cornbread I can have a slice for breakfast and for any snack time and it will always make me happy so I'm gonna go in there now and just smooth it up and then I'll add it to my 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this will be ready to go with our fish stew. So our cornbread is finished. It's nice and warm. I don't like to cut it when it's hot because I don't want it to crumble. But I will go ahead because it smells so nice. And that fish stew, or that stew fish is calling my name. How about you, Natalie? Yeah. Is it calling your name too? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to cut in here into this goodness. And we all love cornbread. Mm, nice and big pieces. So look at this beauty here, guys. Oh my goodness. Stew Red Snapper. Those who want, come and get your piece. It is looking so nice and I love the tail and the head. That's why I cut them into two pieces. And I have my potatoes and we're gonna get a head in there. What do you think, Natalie? Yeah. Should we get a head in there? Yeah. Are you gonna have a head too? Maybe. <laughs> Are you gonna have a tail? And at this point, it is nice and really, really tender. Look at this goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Is it calling you guys name as well? Let me hear. So you can have this with some nice roti, any roti of your choice. You can have this with some nice rice. And you can have also have this with bread because it's a stew. I have some sauce in there and you can also have this with some steam veggies and it will go perfectly well so today I have my cornbread that's gonna suck up all this nice juice and I have some broccoli so here it is my dinner tonight and this is my cornbread and stew red snapper everything on this plate is my favorite i have the perfect amount of sauce and gravy here to dunk in my cornbread and check how nice and moist is the cornbread i know natalie already went in for a piece so i'm gonna take a piece right at the end here and you can see the corn you can make it with the corn or without and you know that i'm drooling the first mouthful goes to all the viewers cheers Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. the cornbread is nice and moist and crumbly because of the corn mm -mm -mm. and sweet perfect match i have here some potato let me try the potato because i fry them before i cook them i'm just gonna go in for a little piece here and the potato is nice and soft i have some liquid there Mm, mm, mm. the flavor for the stew is right on point 
a little bit of broccoli there and my cornbread is just the perfect combination for this recipe i'm gonna go in for a piece of the fish right at the top here Ooh, and you can see that the stew sauce is already into the meat of the fish you have to be careful with this one because the red snapper tend to have a little bit more bone and this is your mouthful all oh my god i wish if you can taste this the gravy is already inside here and it's so flavorful everything is coming through the thyme the cilantro some nice flavor of the pepper i'm just happy right now how are you guys feeling take a bite so if you're new to our channel we hope you will consider subscribing soon we want to say thank you so much for watching we love you all bye for now